What's up, everybody? Yeah, it's dark. Let me, oh, that's a little better. Should I turn on the studio lights or should I just keep it off? This is a quick one, a quick video. I know it's late on a Saturday in the middle of the day. Nobody's probably home right now, but that's okay. Those of you there, those of you who care, I want to break down in six minutes or less how to deal with late night carb cravings. What should you do? This is the survival guide of late night carbs. First thing, have you earned those carbs or are you just being weepy and self-loathing? If you've earned those carbs through hard work, grueling, intense hard work, or you haven't been eating a lot of carbs throughout the day, sure, you have a budget for some carbs at night, but clean carbs, not processed carbs, not crap, not Oreos and all the other garbage that might be lurking in your freezer in your pantry. Number one is earn your carbs. Number two, don't have damn crappy carbs in your house in the first place. Does that make sense? That means you won't have access to those crappy late night carbs that are keeping you fat and unhappy. Get them out of your cupboard, get them out of your kitchen, get them out of your fridge or freezer, and you won't have them there. It makes it so much harder to be bad. Number three, eat a healthy substitute. Go eat an apple. Eat an apple. I tell all my clients who are having carb cravings, go and eat an apple and then decide if you still want that crappy carb or any carb. Most of the time, the vast majority of times, what's the answer? People eat the apple. A couple minutes later, they're like, you know, I'm good. Jesus, Jesus, whoa, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? That's what happens. So earn it. Have you busted your tail where you need a little bit of carb to, to, to replenish the glycogen stores? Number two, have no crappy carbs in the house. So if you do need extra carbs, they're only going to come from good, clean, healthy, guilt-free sources. Number three. What was number three? Did I forget number three already? Good, clean, eat an apple. Sorry, that's the one. That's that's eat an apple. Eat an apple. Eat an apple. That makes you feel so much better. You're satiated. You don't crave it anymore. Um, number four is eat your proper carb intake during the day. Eat your breakfast bowl in the morning. Have some white rice or quinoa and apples and blueberries and strawberries and raspberries and pineapple and banana and raisins and, and fresh, raw, local honey. Have all of these throughout your day, plus tons and tons of vegetables. Have these throughout the day. So what does that mean? That means you're good. You're fine. You're not weak. You're craving. And also you're clicking the thumbs up button. Bang, 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 bang. Because this is awesome, usable information coming from a dude who's wearing an I eat carbs t-shirt. I eat carbs. I'm a carb expert, ladies and gentlemen. Let me answer some questions here real quick. Will says, I care. I care too. Will, I care that you care. Thank you. My man, my man, killing it with Mike Dolce. Right on my man, Mr. MIA, frozen blueberries, always my go-to. Heck yeah, I love that too, Mr. MIA. My med says, earn it, MFers. Ain't that the truth? Earn it, baby. We got to earn it. We got to earn everything in this life. Clement, baked apples with sprinkled cinnamon and a tablespoon of maple syrup. Mwah, Dolce approve, baby. So approve. Keto case, cashews and blueberries in plain whole milk Greek yogurt with stevia. I love that too, keto case. That sounds awesome. Anelius, thumbs up, people. Knowledge on a Saturday. Knowledge on a Saturday. This is bonus knowledge for you guys. I got so much information to share and it's so much easier this way, though I did shut off the studio lights because I'm just here giving you a quick rant. I sit in under six minutes. I want to get this out so they're not always super long videos. Um, Anelius, thank you. And thumbs up. Bang, 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 bang. Sean, hey, Dolce, what about pork rind soaked in hot sauce? I know. Hashtag keto is gross. Those keto heads, those super ultra low carb heads will eat pork rinds soaked in, in, in a crappy, um, um, sugar-free, synthetic sugar-free topping flavor like Tabasco or something like that. But then tell us that blueberries and apples and quinoa is bad. Isn't that crazy? What a crazy, crappy thought of a diet. It's so insane. It's so insane. Buddies, sir, how to bounce back after... Oh, it misses disappear, buddies. Um, JR, thumbs up. Bang, 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 bang. I appreciate that. Angel Poblano, Saturday special. Hell yeah, Angel. 
Junior, the Berry Madness from Living Lean, Blueberry Madness, Andy Q. How many pounds should be lost for three weeks to shredded diet? We Our goal was 21 pounds in 21 days. Three weeks to shredded was designed to lose 21 pounds in 21 days. Not everyone will lose 21 pounds in 21 days. Some people will lose more, lose more weight. I lost 24.2 pounds on three weeks to shredded to kick off summer. That was actually leading into Mursad Bektik's June fight. And I was like, boom. And I did three weeks to shredded. I lost 24 pounds in 21 days. And I cataloged. That I, I showed you on my Instagram channel. Now I might be able to do that here on the YouTube channel because we're much better. Some people won't lose 21 pounds in 21 days because they don't have 21 pounds to lose. They're they're 106 pounds. They don't need to go all the way down to 85 pounds. That's insane. They'd be completely emaciated and unhealthy. What three weeks to shred it is designed for you to lose maximum amount of non-essential, non-healthy weight. That's what Three Weeks to Shred It is designed for you to get in the absolute best shape of your life in the shortest amount of time possible. And Three Weeks to Shred It was designed to get the world's greatest athletes as lean and light as possible on the eve of the most important athletic competition in their life. So we couldn't afford for them to be sucked down and unhealthy and crappy. They had to feel absolutely amazing, yet they had to be in as lean and light as possible. Right now, we just put an email blast out there right now. If you care, you can go to thedolcediet.com and you can start the four-week or the 12-week, three weeks of shredded program. There's three weeks left in August. Why not get absolutely shredded fit? Finish your summer strong with three weeks to shred it at the Dolce Diet.com and use my promo code Summer Shred. Summer Shred, one word, no spaces, Summer Shred, and save 20%. 20% is the biggest discount of the year. 20% is as high as we've ever, ever gone with the discount at the Dolce Diet.com. I just want you to look absolutely awesome and feel awesome and finish summer strong. Be in the best shape of your life for the beach day, for the pool party, for the picnic, for the, the, the bikini time, sexy time, board short time, or whatever, or jumpstart your quality, healthy, energized, lean, and sexy fall. Why not take the three weeks to shred it, lose 10, 15, 20 pounds or more and continue rolling that on into September, October, November, and make this year the best of your life. Again, the Dolce diet.com promo code summer shred, save 20%. Now we're at seven minutes. I got to go and answer these questions for you, buddies bounce back strong after five hours of pure binge eating, man, I would go for a walk and I would drink a ton of water and I would probably fast for a solid 12 to 16 hours. It, depending on how bad it is, but I don't know what you did. Chris, hey, coach, who would be harder to work with, Johnny Hendricks or Antonio Brown? I think I could do a great job with Antonio Brown. Um, knowing that AB is a stellar athlete, a world-class athlete, and these pro athletes, guys and gals, they are so much smarter than the media, than the fan base even gives them attention to. So what I do is when I work with an athlete like an AB or, or some of these other ones that, that I shall remain nameless because we sign NDAs and we don't divulge anything. Well, we keep it. We keep it private. What we do with these A-class athletes, man, we're there to we're there to give the information to them. That's Bill Gates. That's Steve Jobs. That's Elon Musk. That's what these pro athletes are. They hire the best in the business to give them the advice that they need so they can make the informed decision. That's what we do when we work with athletes like that. That's why the Dolce Diet is the only team in the history of combat sports with a 100% success ratio. Getting our athletes on weight, on time, every single time. No other team can say that. And we've done that for over 20 years. With the worst, got Johnny Hendricks on weight seven times. Seven times got Johnny Hendricks on weight. Seven times. Can you believe that? Seven times. Nobody else has done that. Johnny never missed weight with us. Johnny was great. I love Johnny Hendricks. He's absolutely awesome. He's, we got him on weight seven times, won a world title. How about that? Completely changed the trajectory of his entire life and career. Seven times. As soon as we stopped working with Johnny for whatever reasons, I think he wound up missing weight three or four times. I love Johnny. So that's what we would do. Uh, Mamad says, coach, any philosophy book for me this week? Have you read Socrates? Have you read Socrates yet? Have you read a uh, Plato or Aristotle? Have you read the, 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 the foundational Greeks? I would go and read the foundational Greeks or even just find a, oh man, there was one book that actually does a great job covering all the foundational Greeks as, as I call them. I, that's a great first step. 
I think it, it, unless you're far more advanced, you could be far more advanced than I. So that that's absolutely true. But I went through in my early 20s, I probably went through a solid four years of getting really deep into philosophy. Um, and I would look for what, what we call the foundational Greeks and kind of read what they have. And that allows you to start. And this is what I did. I springboarded into my own focus my own area my own passion which means i didn't follow because there's million there's so many great minds out there millions of great minds over the course of history there truly has been there's been tens of billions hundreds of billions of people i don't know the exact number seven and a half billion humans on the planet right now how many died last year the year before the year before going back thousands of years tens of thousands of years um but that being said millions of brilliant minds find your passion but start with the foundations i'd say the foundational greeks are awesome uh, boxing stuff. What do you weigh? And I'm weighing like 208 to 212, depending on how much water I'm carrying. I've always said this. I'm rather soggy. I hold a lot of water in a good way, in a bad way. That's one of the reasons I'm so strong, but it's another one of the reasons why a lot of people like, I don't look as ripped all the time as my body fat would naturally dictate. I'm, I'm relatively lean. I typically hover around 11 or so percent body fat. I'll go down a little closer into the tens, high nines, or sometimes I'll float up a little closer towards like 12, 12 and a half during those meteor phases. Um, but sometimes I, people are like, oh, my God, man, how many weight you lose? I'm like three pounds. It's just because I, I carry that water just genetically. I'm just prone to holding a little bit more water. Um, so right in like I float like 208 to 212 or so. And those those are wake up weights based upon food consumption. My body holds a lot of glycogen because I've trained it to do so. Uh, and then I hold a, a layer of subcutaneous water. Um, Angel studying to be a health coach, helping my cousin tomorrow, help him get healthy. I appreciate all the free knowledge you drop for us, your principles and what I've learned. Um, all that's awesome. I appreciate that. And guys and gals, if you appreciate the content right now, give us a thumbs up, bang, 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 bang. Let's me know you're there. Let's me know you care. And it lets the YouTube algorithm know that smart people like yourself are engaged with the content on this channel. And maybe that will help this channel grow. So that's all because of you guys. So thank you. Boxing now already purchased the online program in the past. Is there an option? to get back on the website boxing now shoot an email to support at the dolce diet.com and the team will walk you through i don't have access to what your your past profile was all that information your account details they have they'll have access to all that and they will step you through the process our team is absolutely amazing we want you to be super satisfied we want you to be super stoked we want you to be in amazing shape we want you to be on the program for as long as you can we are super awesome with everything all of the customer service we're super awesome with taking care of you guys that's the most important thing because if we don't take care of you guys then you're not going to recommend us to your friends and family and everybody else when they're like holy cow you look amazing and you're gonna be like oh yeah you know dolce sucks or you're gonna say man this fucking dolce thing was awesome and their customer service was absolutely amazing um so that's what i would say support at the dolce diet.com and the team will take care of you kelly do you still train martial arts on 42 and taking my first jujitsu class i absolutely do i absolutely do i train martial arts based upon who i have access to training with in many ways i like to train with my friends i'm fortunate to have friends who are um olympic level wrestlers and collegiate you know almost many of them are, are former college wrestlers um brazilian jujitsu you know purple brown blacks and and much 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 greater professional athletes and um, mma athletes and all that stuff um why is that why is that because it's safer for me to train with better athletes better athletes than myself for sure it's safer to train with better athletes in many ways because they have really good technique and really good control and we can push really 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 hard paces and we can go home and take care of our families and go to work and do all the other things i'm not looking to get my my heel hooked i'm not looking to get americana you know out of my shoulder joint i'm not looking for any of that stuff i'm looking for someone to get me in in those positions and get you know gotcha where i can tap without getting my my ankles ripped off or neck cranked i can't get a neck crank come on now um it's just not worth it for for people of our age and you said you're over 40 so yeah you can train just as intense but look for better partners and you can find great gyms around um teeping tom are there any foods that all together healthy should be mixed together because of the way they mix in the stomach also does the order that you eat foods in a meal matter the order does matter to a degree i always find proteins a little easier to eat first it takes a little longer to break down um the easier the food is to break down in many ways it might be better to put that in last starting with the more bulky food it gives the food more time but also we like to i like to put in a lot of plant-based foods high fibrous foods to help with the digestion process so i'll eat like maybe half a salad before before my main meal kicks off, then I'll start with like the steak or the chicken, the fish and slowly work my way down. But I'll always kind of be forking in a little bit of, of the salad, the roughage along the way. Um, 
Uh, Mike, how many amateur fighters fights do you think a fighter should have? And then he can go pro. I'd say 10 to 20, typically in MMA, um, probably, you know, 20 minimum, um, 20 to 30 in boxing, but we'll just talk in MMA. I would say at least 10 and 10 would be the, the bare minimum. And I would probably do the first three to five as like a smoker with shin guards and headgear with modified rules, no knees, no elbows. I do three to five like that. Then I do another three to five where it's stepping it up just a little bit. It's, it's, it's maybe the smaller gloves, the headgears off the, um, you know, shin guards are off, but there's no head kicks to slowly work your way through. Cause the worst thing is to go in there as an O and O or, or one and O amateur. And then you go against a, a nine and O amateur who comes from a world-class kickboxing. And this happens a lot. So they'll compete in MMA, low level MMA, amateur MMA, but they're coming from a, a division one wrestling pedigree, let's say. So I would look for the modified rule sets and, and go through. Now, if you're training in those type of, of, of environments, you're competing in those type of environments that have a more structured, more rigid um, skill set, that will allow you the safety to progress months faster, where you can fight once a month probably because you're not getting kicked in the head. You're not getting elbowed. You're not getting kneed. The gloves are a little bit bigger. You have a headgear. You have shin pads. So then it's like sparring against someone that re you really don't like controlled though that would be my strongest suggestion to you and and take the time there's no rush there's no rush but you can compete a lot more often you can easily get 10 or more fights in the first year when you get to the professional level you're lucky to get two in because you're going to get hurt when the winners of mma fights typically go to the hospital too and they're typically out for two to six months afterwards it just takes that amount of time just to get back into the hard training again when you win even that would be my strong suggestion uh, real, real. Every time I do a Dave Palumbo keto diet, the first three days sucks. But after that, I never get the carb cravings. Um, and that happens, actually. That's true because it's like anything else. Your body is very adaptive. So if you go away from carbs for a few days, three days to a week, you don't crave them anymore. If you go away from protein, you know, if you leave kind of more of an omnivore diet and you go more to vegan, you don't crave it anymore. That doesn't mean you're going to perform at your best. And Dave focuses really on the bodybuilding, the physique, the aesthetic side. Extremely low carb diets for healthy, average, you know, traditional healthy adults or athletic adults where bodybuilders are not athletic and no disrespect to them, but the nature of their competition isn't like a mixed martial artist, a basketball, a soccer, a tennis player, a swimmer, a gymnast, um, all of that piano player, even something like that. Take carbs out of their diet and watch what happens. It doesn't go as well as the expectation actually is not nearly as well as if they had a intelligently controlled carb fueled diet with dense with micronutrition and phytonutrition and all the necessary cofactors for optimal cognitive and, and, you know, physical function. Um, so it's, it's not to like beg on Dave's diet that works really well for bodybuilding, especially if you're using performance enhancing drugs, keto works really, really well for that, but it doesn't work as well as if you are consuming some form of carbohydrate and glycogen, if actual athletic exertion is your goal. Um, Clint coach, what's your thoughts on ashwagandha? I don't know enough about it to honestly or intelligently answer. So I'm going to have to not answer that one. Not because I'm hiding because um, I don't know. I don't know. I know a little bit about it, that it's got some good data behind it. I've never used it. I never went into a full deep dive. Our team has not gone into a deep dive. We don't suggest it, but maybe that's some research we do over the fall and we get a better determination. We run some internal trials here with the team and we figure it out. Um, boxing stuff. I agree. Angel, eat real food. Don't count calories. Make calories count. Boom. That's right. Andy Q, other than salmon, what fish would you recommend? I'm a big salmon fan. I say fresh, wild caught, line caught is ideal. That's the best. So if you can get some line caught fish in your vicinity, that's what I would be eating. If you're getting some frozen stuff, I would only say get wild. That's, that's, that's a bigger criteria than is it tilapia? Is it cod? Is it swordfish? Is it tuna? Is it mahi? Is it, um, salmon? You know, is it, it baramundi? Is it, you know, is all this the oysters? Is it, you know, clams, all that stuff. Wild, get wild, start local and wild. Um, uh, answered that my man coach. We have some good young talents in our gym who skip training so much. How can we make them more passionate and convince them not to skip? You point to the kid who's not as good as them, who signed up at the same time as them, but showed up every day. And you say, he's better than you. That's why he's better than you because he's here every day and you're not. That's why he outgunned you in training. That's why he outworked you. That's why he out hustled you. 
He doesn't have nearly the athletic talent. He's not as big. He's not as strong. He's not as lean. He's not as fast. He's not as long. He doesn't have the balance, the coordination, the visuospatial spatial ability. He doesn't have any of that. And he beat you today because he outworks you. And that's completely under your control. He's going to be here tomorrow, are you? That's the way I would do it. I would just walk away. That's the way I would do it. With not, with not disrespecting the person, applauding. Because I'm not, I'm not genetically talented really in anything. My best, my only skill set, my greatest skill set was showing up. Showing up on early, working my ass off, figuring out what I sucked at, which was almost everything, and focusing on getting better at the things I sucked at in my off hours. That, that's it. Showing up, working hard, going home, living a good, clean, quality life. So many more people have way more talent than me. Genetically, I don't have any talent the way I see it, and I don't. I don't. Um, Johan, thank you, Super Chat. Johan just donated $5 to the channel, Super Chat. We appreciate that. Johan, so you know, so everyone knows, any donation that comes in through this channel will only go to grow this channel for you guys. Upgraded video, upgraded audio, upgraded maybe some out of background. I think looks pretty cool. We're going to add some more. I got so much cool stuff to add. I had so much stuff just in boxes and storage. Anyway, um, a videographer, that's something all you guys have been asking for. You want to see what I do, how I live my day, when I wake up, from the time I wake up to the time I I go to bed. I, how do I eat? How do I prep my food? Um, where do I go when I'm out and about? I'm on the road. How do I train? Like, how does all this stuff? And I want to bring you in behind the scenes. I just need someone to follow me with the camera. I've tried to do it a few times with like the selfie stick GoPros. Man, I'm not that dude. I'm not that guy yet. I, I'm not skilled to do that. I have audio problems. It comes out like crap. It's not framed. Um, it's, it's unsafe because I'm in the car all the time. Um, so that will always go in. And Johan, thank you so much. Everyone put down your phones and serve someone else today. Johan, I appreciate that. And any time you you do donate to the super chat i don't care how much it is a dollar a hundred dollars you will get my undivided attention i will answer your question as if you just paid for a, a consultation through our website you get that type of specificity and i answer obviously everyone's question here which is what i've been doing for the last 17 minutes or so but johan whoever does the super chat for the future stuff uh, will get a tremendous amount of, of value um Proper Timothy says, is whey a must-have for gains? Absolutely not. We always say the whole food is the most important. Um, Louis Delgado is attending the Dolce Diet certification. Good for beginners as well. I followed your program and love it, but will be a complete noob, and I'm only 25. Louis Delgado, this is exactly for you. This is the best thing for you to go to the Dolce Diet certification and nutrition conference. Be locked in this facility with myself and our team for three days and a bunch of like-minded, brilliant individuals who have absolutely no experience. Some don't even have GEDs when they walk into this room. Some have, you know, bad luck stories from life, but they realize they wanted to learn about the body. They wanted to learn about nutrition and health, and they wanted to share their passion eventually with other people, either the people that they care about that they don't want to monetize, or they wanted to build it into a global business. We have PhDs and MDs and DOs and DCs and CPTs and LMTs and CSCSs and MSs and BSs, all that roll through here as students. We also have people, like I've said, that have never worked in health, never worked in fitness, know nothing about nutrition, didn't graduate high school, went to junior college, community college, what have you, work in nothing related. Nothing was in steel manufacturing. They build houses. They're baristas. They're bartenders. Um, they are working in the health and fitness field. It is a massive group of people that only care about learning more, doing better, being better, and be becoming part of a core group of people, of coaches, of peers, of professionals to support and challenge each other, to network together. That's really what this is all being built alongside our brand. You become one of our endorsed local professionals in your area. We teach you how to monetize your skills, your passion as big and broad into a large corporation if you'd like to, or a very small um, one man, one woman, um, sole prop, sole proprietorship, whatever you want to do. We teach you all of that through. So Louis Delgado, I would say absolutely, absolutely. And right now we have three spots left to the current DDC, the Dolce Diet Certification and Nutrition Conference. August 23rd, 24th, and 25th in the beautiful beach town of Belmar, New Jersey. It's absolutely amazing here. One of the most beautiful, picturesque, awesome walk around. You do not need a car in this freaking town. You walk, you skateboard, or you, you beach cruise to wherever you got to go. That's the way it works for the locals. That's the way we do it around here. Everything is here for you. Um, so come down, Lewis. If you're down, if you're down right now, I think... I think we still have a pre-registration price. I think so. So you can take advantage of that right now. If you need a payment plan, we are awesome and cool and we hook you up. So support at the Dolce Diet.com. Um, there's even a tab for that inside the drop down at Dolce Diet Shop.com to reserve your spot. Um, 
Um, coach, I saw a video on Instagram. The guy was saying drink cheese water instead of whey protein. No, that's that's gross. I would puke. Travis Navarro, what's up, coach? I've just got started back to working out after months of being lazy, but I'm using bands to start uh, with on the road. Your thoughts on band workouts? Well, super light bands, I think, are good, but bands are very, very taxing. Think about that. Think about a band. When you're with a band, using a band, the farther you stretch it, the more taxing it becomes. And even lowering it, ugh, there's so much built-in force that's constantly taxing your body. A lot of times people develop joint and ligament and tendon issues while using bands. You have to be very careful with that. They're awesome. I love them. I use them from time to time. But I would do more of just traditional body weight exercises. I would start with walking. I would start with basic body weight squats. I'd look to be holding a proper plank, knees down plank, full foot plank, holding, you know, straight arm plank. I'm doing quarter push-ups, full range push-ups, V-ups, um, Russian twists, you know, different type of act athletic exercises like that, walking lunges, standing rear run lunges, stepping up, you know, onto a, a, a one stair or two, two stairs at a time. I would be doing that stuff before I started band work. If I'm just getting back in Travis, what's up coach. I have just got started back to working out after months. Of, I answered that Kevin real, real. Can you explain the anaerobic cardio methods of fighters like Colby chaos compared to the guy like Usman who said his knees are so bad. He can't even run uh, what it is. It's more about getting your heart rate up. It's more about suffering. So I'm sure what Usman does is he finds a way to suffer. He probably jumps on the um, a treadmill maybe, or he gets in the pool and swims. And I don't know specific. I don't know inside what Usman is doing. Colby pushes everything. Everything Colby Covington done is at a high rate, a high limit. That's the way he lives his life, which I think is very clear he's from his social media persona. But the dude trains like a savage. These guys train like savages. They train like madmen and women. They train like absolute monsters. These are the hard, the, the champions are the hardest training athletes in the room. They break everyone in the room. That's why they're so good. That's why Colby is so good and Usman is so good. These guys break people. They break people. They hurt just as much as their opponent, just as much as their training partner. They hurt. They're suffering just as much inside. They feel the same emotional experience that the metabolic waste will bring about. They feel the lead in their veins, the fire burning, coursing through their arteries. They feel that, but they push anyway. That's the difference. It's not a treadmill. It's not an airdyne. Those are just tools to bring about the suffering. These guys and gals, they suffer. All right. Guys and gals, I appreciate you all being here. Thumbs up if you appreciate that. Bang, 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 bang. If you appreciate this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and leave a comment below this video. Once the video posts, if you watch it, just give a give a thumbs up or give a, an exclamation point. Give a number sign. Give an F you, which just means effing unbelievable content, Dolce. Just give an F you to leave a comment. The more likes this video gets, the more comments the video gets. YouTube allegedly, the analytics behind YouTube, will promote the video more to cool people just like yourself. We're trying to grow this channel. The only way that happens is by you guys. I can turn on the mic. I can give you as much actionable, evidence-based, compelling, usable, motivational, inspirational content as I can. I can't grow the channel. I can only be here. That's up to you guys. So if you choose to do so, that's cool. I appreciate it. I will be back again giving you more information. Until next time, boom.